Nesekoi196. Now, guys, I gotta say, you know, I miss Tachibana. I miss Tachibana, and I think a lot of people do miss her as well, especially her classmates, but boy, does she keep texting Raku every single day, like 12 messages, like a freaking day, so Tachibana's still here in spirit. I will say this chapter was really great because it really goes further along of Raku really trying to decide who does he love, Onidera, and why does he think Shiruge of more than a friend? I mean, he's really torn between the two at this point and really listening to Tachibana's words, which is great as a reader because we want to see development. We want him to finally decide who does he truly love, and Shiruge is so in the running, and I'm hoping she does win. But for some reason, uh, I mean, I've been wrong this whole year in predicting stuff, so uh, take it out of a grain of salt. I think he's going to pick Onidera, but I'm hoping Shirige is the end girl. But we do see Raku, that, that's no disrespect to Onidera, we see him just really walking around, just really just, like I said, just torn apart between this decision, and then we see him meet up with Onidera, not meet up, but sees Onidera, Onidera asks him, can you walk with me halfway home? So they walk and they get into this conversation to this, definitely this, this whole conversation, this whole interaction is intriguing because Onidera straight up asks this Raku, why did you decline or why did you not, why, why did you turn down Tachibana? And Raku's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, well, you know, it's just, uh, I'm not, you know, she's a good girl but she's more friends and uh, i'm just not really you know i don't like anybody right now and it, it's just kind of like an awkward switch situation it's definitely uh for only that or two because she's really just trying to kind of feel rocky out. And she's trying to be brave she's trying to express her feelings but she just quite can't um but then i love how raku says uh oh, do you like anybody on only data and only data just like totally her face is like oh my god um but it was so funny to see definitely these two just they're, they're just so nervous when they're with each other so it, it is it's cute it's cute onidera says she wants to become brave but until then she wants raku to watch watch her to watch her evolve watch her express herself which is really cool i mean give it to onidera i mean she is trying she's trying to really she loves raku she really wants to be with raku but raku is really is starting to find out that yeah it's no doubt it has to be onidera but why do i feel this way because she he's so torn apart because she shiruge has really really established some great some just great chemistry with him some great moments throughout this manga so absolutely it's crazy to see which one it might be. It's great to see uh, Raku talking to Onidera in this particular chapter because we're gonna, next chapter we're going to get a little bit more Shirige and Raku and we're going to see who he kind of really is really in love with. But good chapter, good chapter, great development. Tachibana is going to be missed, but it's time to see who Raku really loves, who he's going to pick in the long run. And hopefully it is Shirige, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, that's no disrespect to Onidera because I do like Onidera. I think her character is really nice too. She's not my favorite, but she, she's a really nice character. I really like her as well. So, thank you guys for listening. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for Shirike and Onidera. Hit it for both those two because man, those two hurt. They're going, they're going out. They're going, they're, they're going all in. They're going all in. Um, also, like the video if you like it and comment below. Let me hear your guys' thoughts on this chapter. And I am Dan Manning and Daniel Sun, and I am out. Bye guys.